Okay, so question number 21 this is quite a tricky little question. And we've got to keep our wits about us. We're going to have to use some work from the. We're going to have to use the formula sheet. Now, it says calculate the area of the triangle. So if we have a quick look back at the area of the triangle here. It tells us down here, it gives us the area of the triangle is a half ABC sine C, and it also gives us the cosine rule. So let's try again and take these three. Um, we've got a few little crossings out, but it's better than nothing. Oh, let's take that. Let's go back to where we were. And let's just. Oh, that's useful. For some reason, we just magically put it over the top. Let's just pop that there for the moment. Let's pop it down here, it might make it easier. And then we can see that, if I get this out of the way, because it's a non right angle triangle. We can we can't just split this down the middle and say this is half five point two and five point two because we doesn't when you can see that that here I drop this right down is not halfway between there and there. If we could, we could then maybe find out some kind of height and do the half of base times the height, or we could use this, which allows us to find half AB sine big C. So it allows us to find the area. If we have two sides, it allows us to find and the angle between them, or two sides and the angle between. Or two sides the angle between we can use this formula so let's lift up our little a little uh, c and little b but we also but we need to know one of these angles so we have to use well we're not going to use the sine rule we're going to use the cosine rule to find out one of these angles so we can use the cosine rule once to find one of the angles and then we're going to go ahead and use that answer to then use this formula here so let's see how we're. so we're going to start with step one and then we're going to go ahead and do step two. So, if we look at step one, it says a squared is b squared plus c squared. So, for us, uh, 5.6, well, let's just write it out in full. A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of A. And that's if I want to find out this angle A in here. So my A is 5.6 squared is equal to 8.3 squared plus 10.4 squared. There's two lots of. 8.3, 10.4, cos A. So we have to rearrange this and work out what this cos A is, and then we can work out what A is. One little trick, a common mistake I often find. This is one thing we can work out in a calculator. This is something else I can work out in my calculator. But this minus 2 lots of 8.3, 10.4, cos A is all one thing. So we can't just subtract this number from this. We have to divide, this is multiplied by cos A. So let me explain what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and work out what our 5.6 squared is. That's 31.36 is equal to, well if I do the 8.3 squared and 10.4 squared on my calculator, 8.3 squared plus 10.4 squared, I get 177 0 0.05. I just trust, well, you have to trust me that I've done this one correctly. Minus 2 times 8.3 times 10.4 minus 172.64 cosine A multiplied by cosine A. So I'm now going to take subtract both sides by 177.05 so I'm going to do 31.36 minus 177.05 
and that gives me minus 145.69 is equal to minus 172.64 cosine of a. Now I want to get rid of minus 172.64, so the only way I can do that is by dividing, because it's at the moment multiplied by cosine a. So I can now minus 100, if we just look at my calculator, I'm going to divide both sides by minus 172.64. So minus 145.69 divided by minus 172.64 and I get 0.843894.81. Now I'm not going to round that just yet. I know it says my answer to three significant figures, but I don't want to round it before the end. So to work out what A is, I have to do cos minus one, and I can use my answer button on the calculator. So I just have to do shift cosine answer, and I find out that A is 32.4462 six two eight three four four but again I'm not going to use round that I'm going to leave that on my calculator as my answer button so step one done that was quite hard work that would be three of the five marks now I want to go ahead and I want to find the area now it says a b sine c I'm actually we've now worked this one out I'm actually going to use the formula half B, C, sine, capital A. Now, just because this A is between the B and the C, there's another one as well, half um, A, C, sine, big B. So you can use any three of them. I'm going to use this because this is what I want to find. So the 8.3 and the 10.4. So now, I'm going to use my answer here. And I know that the area is half B, C, sine a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half times my 8.3 times by my 10.4 times by the cosine of my answer. Not rounding it using the full all the digits on my calculator. So then I just have to do 0 0.5 times 8. Point, oops, 0.3 times 10.4 times Mmm, hope you're spotting my mistake. A sign. Okay. Um, and then times by sign of my answer, which is the one that's remembered from my calculator from before. And that gives me 23.155719. Now I can round my answer to three significant figures, which is roughly equal to 23.2 centimetres squared. Very important you don't round this to three significant figures, otherwise this answer will not be accurate to three significant figures. So leave your answers as exact as you possibly can to the very last minute. You might want to go back and you might want to have a look at this question another time to see how we did it.